seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. On the way for humanity's first ever planetary defense test mission. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. T plus 33 seconds, SpaceX launch engineer seeing a nominal conditions on Falcon 9 as we begin the trip to space carrying the DART spacecraft. M1D engines about to begin throttling down. Power and telemetry nominal. We're throttled down. Avionics calls out good power on the vehicle. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. We've gone supersonic. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. And the Maryland 1D engines have throttled back up to full power. We're out of the throttle bucket. From here on, even though the velocity is, even though the velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, and so the loads are decreasing now on the Falcon 9. Everything continues to look good with the stage one trajectory. Invec chill has started. The lead valve is open on the second stage engine. That's beginning the final chill prior to second stage engine ignition. Two minutes into flight, all continues to go well. In 30 seconds, we'll have three significant events coming up in quick succession. We'll get Miko, main engine cutoff, where we shut down the nine Merlin engines. The stages will separate, and we'll get ignition of the MVAC-D second stage engine to power DART and the second stage into their parking orbit. We've throttled down to hold at 4 Gs, getting ready for Miko. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. In the ignition. We've got successful stage separation. Second stage engine ignition now at full power on the Merlin engine. Next event coming up is going to be payload fairing jettison. On the left side, you can see the titanium grid fins on the first stage beginning to deploy as we get ready to bring the first stage back down to the drone ship, of course I still love you, in the Pacific Ocean. Getting ready now, there's fairing the view. Separation confirmed. Of the fairing. And we've got deployment of the payload fairing, and now the DART spacecraft exposed to the vacuum of outer space. Now we will be attempting to retrieve these new fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Everything going well with Falcon 9 and DART. What you're looking at on your screen is a live view of that NVAC engine on our second stage. Burning bright, we are currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for spacecraft deployment today at T plus six minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, you should see on your screen, hopefully we'll get some live views of the first stage uh, entry burn. And that entry burn will last about 30 seconds. Now for the entry burn, we do relight the center E9 engine and then partway through we relight the E1 and E5 engines so that we have three total M1D engines helping to slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. And again, what you're looking at on your screen is the MVAC engine on the second stage. We're getting some awesome live views. And everything is still looking nominal for stage two. Like I... At 
at T plus five minutes into this mission. We're just under two minutes away from the entry burn on the first stage as second stage is continuing on its journey. Again, this is the first of two planned MVAC burns for this mission. Now the Falcon 9 booster supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the third time because it's previously supported Starlink mission earlier this year and the... Stage 2 on nominal trajectory. Just to call out that stage 2 is looking nominal, which is great news. Uh, the first stage booster, again, supported a Starlink mission earlier this year and the Sentinel-6A mission in November of 2020. Now, both fairing halves for this mission are brand new and will be recovered for the first time on a recovery vessel, NRC Quest. And we are just about 30 seconds away from that entry burn on first stage. As a reminder, the Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these do achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And it looks like we've got a live view on your left-hand screen of the first stage. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. And we heard the call out as well as visual confirmation that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Again, this is about a 30 second burn and just helps to slow the vehicle down as it's re-entering the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And as you could see, the engine shut down on your screen. We did hear a call out that entry burn is complete. Stage two, FTS is saved. Stage two continues on a nominal trajectory. Now coming up in just, Terminal guidance. just a little over a minute will be Seco one. That is second stage engine cutoff one. Again, there is two burns for the MBAC engine on the second stage, so we are in the first burn. Expected loss of signal, Cook. So we should see this engine shut off here shortly. And about 20 seconds later, we'll see or hear the landing burn call out on first stage begin. MBAC shut down. And we just Nominal had orbit insertion. That's what we were waiting for. Stage one, landing burn startup. So we got Seco one on second stage. We got a confirmation of good orbit and the landing burn has begun on first stage. And now we have a live view of first stage making its way to, of course, I still love you. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And we had some incredible views. Now we're just waiting for some confirmation of that first stage landing here in a second. As we have a live view of second stage currently with the engine cut off as it's coasting towards its targeted uh, orbit. And we will wait for that confirmation of that first stage landing. 